I need to talk to? Yeah, I just want to quit it all. I want to quit everything. Uh Uh-huh, yeah, I just don't want to do any of this anymore. So whoever I need to talk to to just make it stop, please connect me. Ah, Molly Sims right there keeping it real in her latest TikTok video. Every parent can relate to that right now. And she is joining us. What's up, Molly? Welcome. How we doing? Hi, Kit Kat. (laughs) Hi, my love. I see. I see you grooving. That little video was cool. You had that cool little jam there. So your your kids put you up to it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Where's the outfit change? No outfit change. We were watching um the Today Show, and they showed like TikTok of these two little kids, and they were grooving, and then the toddler came in and started dancing. It was so fun. Like the kids kind of get into it. I mean. I'm a terrible dancer. They were like, mom, can we do the dancing ones? It took me like a week to learn them. But I can- <laughs> oh. the jump, no, the jump was good. My kids getting it, yes. Every week, my daughter's choreographing something for us, so yes. But it's so, I mean, listen, I think we have to make the most of this moment. Um, quarantine for my family of five, my tribe has been very interesting. I've kind of turned the tables on them. Everyone's like, why did you think to tape them? I'm like, because they taped me up. They put me in jail. So it's interesting to kind of reverse it on them. And I got some really good advice um, from Betsy Brown Brown, who uh, speaks a lot to a lot of parents and have, has some great books. She has this great book called uh, to Tell Me What to Say or something like that. And she said, you know, like, let's make this time memorable because it's such a horrible and you know, we don't know what's going to happen and all that we don't know. Like, so do things you wouldn't do. Eat breakfast underneath the table. Do a fork. Like, make brownies for breakfast. I mean, someone was like, oh, my gosh, you look like you have it all together. I'm like, my dog just ate a sidecar donut. And my kids just had full lemonade with no water diluted. So, but it's okay. I tell you what, I love it. (laughs) <laughs> and you guys having the little kids, first of all, I bow down to you because that just is a full, full day. I've got three teenagers over here. But I love your chore chart. You're holding everybody accountable, Molly. It's not really working. <laughs> How does that work? What's the premise? The premise, it's like a little magnetic board. I got it off Etsy. I think I got it off Etsy a little while ago. And make your bed, and they have to move the things, do your homework take your trash, pick up your toys. And, you know, <laughs> they'll say they did it. And like, I know they didn't do it. Like literally Stuber is doing first grade next door while we're doing this. Yeah. I have, they're supposed to, I'm in charge of preschool and they're supposed to be upstairs and they're watching Scooby-Doo. But if the children's heart, no, <laughs> Gray calls it scooby Doody, but it's fine. <laughs> um, we're not going to correct them. It's super cute. But Yeah, I'm trying to, like, also, as much as we can have fun, you know, hold accountability. You get iPad time. It's all about, like, screen time. So that's a barter. Between that, candy, donuts, and screen time, I have a lot of power, Mario. It's all about a barter system. All right, the screen time, the iPads, thank goodness for those, because that's how I gauge everything, reward system right there. It does, though, my three-year-old, for some reason, is not. Like, they all come in at some point. Like, my husband and I are trying to watch – a show and my three-year-old he goes mama dada let's watch fauda i'm like that's probably inappropriate to say out loud since it's the israeli and palestinian like combating with guns but it's a total fail he's mature (laughs) molly what's the first thing you're going to want to do when quarantine is over the first thing when you can get out i don't i mean i have so many things I'm going to get a wax. I'm going to get a proper hair color without me having to do like burning my scalp and doing crystals in my hair. I'm going to get a proper manicure. I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to hug someone. I don't even know. Like my local coffee shop, I haven't been in 10 weeks. And like, I, I, I don't even know. Like I, you just, it's just hard not seeing people you know I've sheltered down we've been really you know quarantined and now we're starting to you know try to loosen the you know loosen the reins and yeah I, think constantly you- I have COVID so I'm like my throat is scratchy I feel like I'm hot you know it's not I'm like I'm vacuuming and like I don't have COVID but yeah you know I, cabin fever set in I think for everyone there so, something you said on your uh, a blog I thought was pretty funny and, and I can totally relate is you think one of the keys to a healthy 
relationship when you're when you're coupled up is to agree on the right TV show to watch together, which my right. wife and I totally have. She has her shows she watches by herself. I have my shows I watch by myself, and then we have our shows we watch together. And you can't cheat on the shows you watch together and watch them when. But but here's the problem, and maybe you can help. My it takes forever to to find common ground on the same show. But once we do, she falls asleep in the first episode, so it's irrelevant anyway. So she should let me pick what that show is, don't you think? So Mario, I might have a habit of falling asleep as well. Um, <laughs> like my husband, I it's love a small Dateline. kid thing. I get it. <laughs> it's a kid thing. I love Dateline to the point where like Scott will have watched like Keith Morrison, like special, like literally he will. I'm like, it's like I finished it like nine times, but <laughs> I do at one point stay awake. We love Fauda. Um, I, we went back and started watching Shit's Creek. Um, oh, we, we watched this horrible one, but it was kind of crazy about don't something with cats. Oh yeah. That was great. Wasn't it? That was Mario great. made me watch that. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I, mean, I was like slightly horrified because I love animals and Luca McNada. <laughs> McNada. <laughs> he was great. I started Googling. Like, I was like, I'm I know I went down a rabbit hole too. I Googled it. I went down the rabbit hole. He got married in prison. It was all crazy. Hey, Hoover, do you fall asleep a lot? I don't even think I've ever asked you. Um, you know what? I do. It must be a female thing. But my husband and I are binging Game of Thrones right now. And he's out of town for the first time in 10 weeks, Molly. I was telling Mario. And I was dying to watch it last night. I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to do oh, it. Oh, very good. Respect. Respect. I fall asleep. And so he doesn't notice. But, like, I will actually go back. Or I'll watch a little bit ahead. So if I do fall asleep... <laughs> I know what's gonna happen. I can <laughs> feel my eyelids. He's like, Are you sleep? I'm like, I'm not asleep. I'm not asleep. It's, it's very it's very frustrating because I want to talk about it or I want to, you know, it's supposed to be a big bonding. And then I look over and I'm like, oh, she's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. Millions, that's a really good doc. I love no wait, what was it? What was the doc? McMillions. Oh yeah, McMillions, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's yeah, that's my oh, boy's yeah. doc. Yeah, that's good. That is a really good doc. Okay, good. You, you got good taste right there. 